All right, welcome back everybody. We're gonna do a review today on a specific product that was sent to me and I had a choice of choosing a couple of things to kind of look at to see if there was something I'd be interested in and I really wasn't that interested in anything. However, this one item here that I'm about to show you looked pretty interesting to me and I figured maybe we can apply it to the garden somehow and then uh, see what we could turn it into. So let's go check it out. Okay, so what we're looking at here is called an expandable hose. Now, I'm sure there's other companies that make them out there, but I'm making this video for this company uh, to review their product. So I'll leave the link to a, in the description to where you can actually pick this item up. And if they're going to leave a discount code or not, I'll also put that in the description. I'm not sure if they will. I think they will, but I, I don't know at this point right now. Okay, so anyway, let's go take a look at it and see what it looks like. So first of all, it just comes in a bag like this. Okay, that's how it comes, front and back. It's, uh, the material is some kind of, I don't know what this is, some kind of pretty strong synthetic material. There is instructions. You can read them here. And... That's it. Uh, I did review this product a little bit earlier. And not, I didn't review it, but I, I mean, I've been trying this product out now for a little while. Just to kind of get used to what it is and what it does. And I, it has some pros and it has a couple of cons. Uh, and so we could talk about it right now. Now, this, this is called an expandable hose. This is how it comes. As you can see, it's kind of very slinky. It doesn't have... Um, it's not like a hose like this, for example. You see how this hose, when you go to wrap it up, you got to kind of unwind it as you wrap it up, or it gets all twisted inside and it becomes very hard to make, like, a, you know, to wrap up. This doesn't, this isn't anything like that. This thing is really strange, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. So, uh, what it is, it's an expandable hose, and it's kind of strange, but this thing can actually hold quite a bit of water. Uh, even after it's once it fills up so this thing can probably hold a gallon or two gallons of water something like that once it fully expands and what it does is it expands and It doesn't curl and crinkle up. It doesn't stay rigid. It's very it's a very excellent product uh, In that sense it doesn't get like if you notice with hoses They get like twisted and once they get that twist in them they're, You can't do anything with them. They get they just start looping up and they become really hard to work with and that's just the nature of the beast because those hoses have fibers in them that are wound and those fibers eventually start to loosen and they could get this little twist in it and that's the end of it. This doesn't do that at all. And I'm going to show you what it does. So we got that turned off. I'm going to go screw this in. Man, it's a hot and sunny day today. Let me tell you. Okay, so watch what happens when I fill this thing up. You ready? This is weird. Believe me when I tell you. Look at this thing. It's expanding like spaghetti. Now, as far as pressure goes, I'm running roughly about 80 pounds per square inch up here for water pressure. It's very, very high. So this thing handles high pressure water pretty good. Most municipalities, like most most of you watching, your water pressure is probably going to be between 40 and 60 psi. Mine's 80. At one time, it was 120. We actually had to put a uh, pressure reducing valve in, but now they lowered it. But even still, this pressure you're seeing is street pressure, which is about 80 to 90, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it used to be 120. It was very hard. It was it was almost hard to take a shower with. Okay, so that's what it does. It expands like that. Now, what we'll do or a hose nozzle, whatever you want to call it. It has a valve here, you open that up. Boom, and we'll let it rip. Now, one of the things I'll notice with this thing, you could see how this thing jostulates. It acts as a, um, it's very strange. Um, if you use a regular hose and you were to do this, it, all the force and pressure would be right at that valve where it stops and it hammers when it shuts because there's no expansion, contraction, or anything. With this particular hose, it acts as like an expansion valve. So you can see what it does. It takes all the expansion and shock out of your, your, uh, you know, your water system. You reduce cavitation in the rest of your water supply with that. 
But uh, realistically, it's strange that it does that. And so that's all it is, basically. You know, I could sit here and water my driveway all day long, but um, that's all it is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up on here. And I want to show you what it looks like when I decrease it. So just keep this in mind if, you, if you're going to do it like this. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up, and then I'll bring you right back. So just give me a second. Okay, so as you can see, it's all wrapped up, right? We, we looped it like you would normally loop a hose, and that's with the pressure on, and it fully expanded. Let's see what happens when I shut it off, and we start taking the pressure off it. We'll shut the valve off. And we'll just aim right there, or over there, and then let's watch what happens to the hose. I have to pull on it a little because you can see what's happening. Can you see this? Now this this water is still running. The hose is off. I still got water running. You're talking there's a gallon of water trapped inside this thing still. This is not a hose you would ever want to leave full outside in a freezing condition. That I can tell you. pulling the end. Okay, that's about it. And that's what happens when the hose completely uh, gets, you know, drained down. Now, let's show you what happens. I'll fill it back up really quick. I know I don't want to make this a long video, but you got to see this. This is actually really cool. Look at this thing. Is this thing freaking weird? <laughs> Look at that. That is really cool, to be honest with you. I really like it in a lot of ways. So let's give you a summary and then we'll end this video. Okay, so what's my opinion on this hose? Is, is it junk? Is it good? Is it bad? What should you know about this hose? Okay, so... First thing I'm going to warn you about is this hose has a chemically type taste in it long after it's been rinsed probably 30 times. Like I told you, I've been using this hose now for about three weeks to a month maybe or something like that. And I've been running a lot of water through it and the smell of the, I don't know what it is, plastic or expansion material or whatever, uh, there still is some kind of um, smell to it. So it's kind of strong and it's strong enough for me to say that you probably don't want your kids drinking out of the hose, and you probably don't want to water your garden with it, per se. And that was originally my intention. I had no idea that there was going to be a strong odor associated with it. However, does that mean it's not usable because you can't water your garden with it? No, that doesn't mean that. that. It just means that um, it has different, more industrial applications. If you're power washing your driveway or you're power washing something that's down or down the, the other end of your driveway, you have to, you know, stretch it out to like a hundred feet. This will do it for you easy. And that's what I like about it. I can literally see, like I have to power wash my driveway all the way up there sometimes because the gravel and everything comes down. I can drag that hose easily. You know what I went through before? that I had something like that. Uh, this is perfect for that type of application. You're going to you're going to use it to you know spray your house down. Uh, you're going to use it for laundry even is probably fine. Um, anything that you're going to use water for other than watering your garden with or, or allowing your kids to drink out of, I would say would be perfectly fine. You're going to wash your car and your car is all the way at the other end of a driveway or next door even. You, you just want to drag your hose over to your neighbor's house and wash your cars. You could do that with this hose. It doesn't bind. It doesn't kink. It's perfectly, it stays perfectly limp. So for example, I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about. You can see, you can see that the hose it's hard to see with all the shadow, but you can see that the hose is just perfectly limp. And no matter what I do, it doesn't kink or anything. It's one of the it's one of the greatest designs I've ever seen as far as a hose goes. It's it's genius in every way. However, there's a problem with the with the 
you know, with the odor and the taste possibly associated with, with the hose. And, and other than that, I would say you're perfectly fine. Is it going to contaminate your ground with, you know, chemicals? I don't think so. I, I don't know for sure, but if you're just going to be using it for washing your cars and stuff, you're fine with it. Again, don't water your garden with it and don't drink out of it and you'll be perfectly fine. Other than that, I would recommend this hose. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a coupon, uh, a discount code or a coupon of some sort in the description below. And if you decide that you want to give this one a try, you can uh, use that discount code and maybe save yourself a few bucks. Uh, should you buy it? Well, that's up to you. It really depends on your application. I tend to, and you can see over here, I tend to drag hoses all back there and all around my property. You're talking about when you have to wrap a regular 100-foot hose up, it's literally a nightmare. I can't stand it. Um, it's, I, I, it. I have to take them all apart in sections. I have to drag them out and take it apart every day. It's, it's a nightmare. I really don't want to deal with it. This is a major solution to that problem. Uh, other than the, the smell and chemical part of the hose, uh, everything else is a go with it. I definitely would suggest that. I mean, I've been watering uh, other plants that are non-edible in the area around here, and it seems to be fine with that. I'm not sensing any, like, the chemicals are like, killing plants or anything. It's nothing like that, but I don't know. It's up to you, you know. I just bring you the hose, and you decide if that's something you're going to use. We're going to keep this thing. We're going to be using it now for a while to see how uh, how it, you know, responds to different pressures and you know i may be using it to fill a larger gallon larger containers of water a large and larger jugs of water um where it's high pressure you know when we're talking 120 see how to see how it lasts overnight on say 90 or 80 psi and I, again i had this hose on all night uh and again i have 80 to 90 pounds before the back the, the uh pressure valve because this, this, what you just seen me uh, test on now, that, that hose bib, that's before the, that thing is full pressure from the street. That once all the other valves and everything around the house are all after the pressure valve. So this is before the pressure valve. So this is, and I've left this on, I don't know, overnight already and no problems, no bursts or anything like that. Not even the slightest indication that it couldn't handle that pressure for that long a period of time. It says not to do that, but I did it and I didn't burst. I don't recommend doing it, but... Just letting you know some of the things that I've been, you know, discovering as I fooled around with the hose. It seems like a good hose. I mean, I'm going to use it for power washing and stuff. I'm, you know, I do, around where I live, you got to power wash almost, you know, monthly anyway because of the mildew. That, you know, on real wet seasons like this, you got to you got to power wash all of the the mildew that builds up on the, on the shady side. So it's a pain in the neck, but you got to do it. And um, this hose will save me a lot of a whole lot of headaches. Believe me when I tell you. Well, anyway, down below you will see in the description where you can pick it up and purchase it for yourself if you want to give it a try. It will also potentially be a discount code. I don't know if they gave me a code or not just yet, but you can use that code at checkout and get either 10 or 20% off. All right, so I hope this video was uh, found you well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.